Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about helical compression spring. Here I am going to explain two methods for creating this spring. So left side you can see the physical model of the spring component and right side is a SOLIDWORKS CAD model. So this is the basic uh, terminology for uh, spring. Small d is a uh, wide dia, capital D is uh, mean dia of the spring. L is uh, free length of the spring without compression. And uh, distance between the two end points of the spring coil is uh, that is pitch represented by P and uh, alpha is the coil angle. So here I am going to create component with two methods. One is with sweep. Since sweep uh, it has uh, option profile twist. So I am going to use this option for creating the spring. And the uh, second method is using helical and spiral command. So let us start now. Select the front plane, go to sketch, draw a line from the origin. So 150 mm. So draw one more sketch in the front plane. So draw a center line from the origin horizontally. Take a circle. mm one forty so the horizontal line should be always construction you should remember that so come out of the sketch so we have two sketches one is vertical line and circle so go to feature select swept boss that is sweep here we have to select sketch profile so initially we have to select the profile that is circle and a path the vertical line so here in options we have to select the twist value in profile we have to select the twist value and here we have to keep normal as constant and instead of uh, degrees we have to take revolutions so in older version instead of revolution we have an option called turns number of turns so we have to select the turns if it is a older version. So, revolutions I am taking as 5. See here. So this is one method. Select the top line, draw a circle. Now 
it is 100 mm come out of this sketch so if a sketch is not visible we have to go to show hide options and we have to select sketches now go to features select the helical and spiral command select this sketch so here we have option pitch and revolution so in that we have to maintain constant variable pitch is useful for variable spring so i am going to explain in next videos so here the pitch is 50 and the number of uh, revolutions i am taking 6 see here helical curve has been created now now we have to create one more sketch of wire dia see here there is a dia of the wire so small d for that what we have to know is we have to select the plane and select this vertex so one point is not sufficient for creating the plane so we have to select either right side plane or front plane so we have to see the orientation see here it is parallel to front plane so select this front plane and say ok So it is not parallel to front plane so we have to create parallel to right plane so we have to be very much careful while creating this plane see the orientation see. now select this plane go to sketch select this circle make sure that it is uh, coincide with this end point of the arc so either we have to move and drag near to the point or we have to give the constraint so it is coincide now say ok so wire dia take it as 10 mm come out of the sketch select the swept boss again here we have to straight away select the profile and the path so profile is the circle which is a closed loop and path is the, the spherical curve see here So here in a helical curve we can control the dimensions like pitch I am taking as 30 and number of terms to 10 so let us see how it uh, changes so we can control all the dimensions in the helical so this is the second method we have few more options like start angle it is 0 so if I change to 60 it moves to rightward or in other direction 
which take 180 C it is moving inward and same thing if I select counterclockwise so it spring converts to anti-clockwise direction so these are the two or more options for creating the spring so this is the second method these are the two methods for creating the helical compression spring thanks for watching